Of cool banker Dan Harper Realtors. Well, I was out at Vintage Oaks today and I decided to drive by the lot that I have listed just to make sure the sign was still up and sure enough, the sign had blown down in the storms, but I just put it back up again and decided, what the hell, let's do another video of it. So the address is 1237 Salt Lake. It's a beautiful one acre lot in the new section of Vintage Oaks. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out part of vintage oaks i mean but you have easy access to everything i really enjoy the community the lazy river um the big pool great amenities for a wonderful price uh tax rate is right around 1.8 per year which is phenomenal but this is a beautiful lot we've had had some price reductions i'm not going to state the price right now so it makes it easier for me if we have another price reduction to just kind of update the price in the description box. But yeah, this is Salt Lake, just come on down. You'll see the lot before it, they just cleared it, getting ready to do some construction on it. Some beautiful homes on this lot. And this going down, uh, this part of Salt Lake does into a dead end. So you're not gonna have a lot of traffic on this lot if you build on this lot. Let me go around this little barrier here. But there's plenty of space on the front part where it's fairly level. I'll call it Texas Hill Country level. You're not going to find anything perfectly level to build a house and have a nice view out the back part of it once you get some of this uh, less desirable, like the cedar and the juniper, cleared out. But let's go ahead and walk on back here just so you can see a little bit more what this lot looks like. This is about where an ideal build site would be. You can tell there's a slight slope coming down. We've probably come down about four feet from the road level to this spot. Great location for the house. It still is a gentle slope coming down here. You will have some uh, steps coming off the back of the house because the slope does go down this direction. But it's not so dramatic, especially the front part of this lot. Some beautiful oak trees on this lot, all over it, um, that gorgeous oak tree. It's hard to see right now, but that is on the property line, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Got a couple more oak trees that could survive wherever you build the house at. But most of this stuff here you're gonna see would need to get cleared out to get the house built on it. But let's wander on down here a little bit to see what else we see. So this area here, I know it's still tough to see, but it's fairly flat at this level. This be a perfect backyard space once you clear out some of this uh, garbage plants. So you have a your house up on this level and we just drop down probably just another two feet and then have your steps coming down and this being a really nice backyard space. Right, well, I just pulled out to the side of the property because I think this would be a easier way to get down. There's that big oak I was just talking about. This is the lot next to me. You can see how it is a slight slope going back, but you can tell where they're building their house at, and it's kind of right there. This lot's gonna kind of mimic what that lot looks like as well. It's just a little tough to see. Vintage Oaks does not have any gates on it. So if you see this video and wanna come out and try to drive by and check it out, feel free to do that. There's nothing stopping you. You don't even need to call me. Just come on out, check this lot out. And if you do like it, then yeah, I definitely want to give you a call. This could be, this is what I was talking about for that backyard area. I kind of went up and down, but this whole area is like a big plateau, flat area, perfect for your backyard. If you wanted to put your wrought iron fence up right on the edge where it kind of tears down again. So this would be like your, and it's got a, another beautiful oak tree back here, which would be in your back door yard space. So I'm just trying to paint the picture of what this could look like if you decided to buy this lot and build on it. 
you kind of got a natural barrier with these rocks right here perfect for if you wanted to put a wrought iron fence there and kind of showcase this side here for your backyard and the rest of this kind of dips down a little further but it gives you plenty of privacy this is a one acre lot going down to a ravine you do not have to worry about flooding at all um, this is on limestone very porous and you got a nice little separation for being of dropping down the back part of this property does drop down even further uh, into this neat little kind of dry creek we just had some good storms roll through here this morning and you can tell it's already dry i mean we're a little damp but that's about it but yeah just clearing out some of these cedars would give you a neat little open view coming down here to the dry creek bed but uh yeah beautiful lot we are trying to keep this lot priced in the top five most affordable lots in vintage oaks and hopefully this lot someone will come out see this lot and realizes this is a good fit because they're not the developer's not selling any more lots in vintage oaks this is it what's uh onesies and twosies will keep coming on the market as people's life changes and decide not to build some of these lots will come back on the market but this is a beautiful lot let's kind of walk back here a little bit more and show you this is kind of where i would say having the wrought iron fence and you would have some more beautiful oak trees on the back part of this lot and a neat little natural walk bear rock barrier to let you know hey where the edge of my formal backyard is and now this is my green space backyard which you don't really want to spend a lot of time maintaining so you, typically people want to maintain as little as possible but this is a very nice level spot for a backyard throw some extra dirt in here plant some grass and once again another beautiful oak tree back there it's hard to see but another beautiful oak tree that could be part of the backyard tier of this house and you see all this is fairly level in the backyard space so yeah let me know what you think please put some comments in there uh I like this lot, love this community, and uh, trying to get this lot sold. Right, back up on the ideal build site for this lot. If you've got any questions on this lot, feel free to reach out to me. Phone number is 210-254-4425. I'm also going to leave that information in the description box. Uh, yeah, if you want to come by, come on by. It's a wonderful lot. I really like it a lot, and I absolutely love this community. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit that like. Share this video with your friends and family. Of course, if you know someone's looking for a lot in vintage oaks, definitely want you to share this video. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.